Hi, this is Deb from Project Life Deb's Way. This is a layout I've used scrapping my stash. I've just used a lot of odds and ends that I had lying around the place. So I hope you like the um, layout and will follow my process video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you can because I do like to um, see what you think. Now let's get on with the making of the cards. Hi, this particular layout is just a scrap your stash um, layout, which I thought I would do to just show how you can um, take some of the stuff that you had left over and make it into a full project life spread. Uh, this is a few pages that I had left from Kaiser Craft documented. Of course, as you can tell, they're very difficult to use. You can always use these as a, uh, a ruler sheet, but these sort of sheets are hard to use. I had a few of the ephemeras left over. So what I've done is I've gone into my stash and I've found some corresponding papers that will go with these and the ephemera. I found this is from Open Road by Kayser Craft and I liked it because I live in Australia and it's terrific to have your gum leaves, which of course you could use any leaf pattern. These are the leaves and things that I cut from the paper. I've just sat down and fussy cut them out. I also threw in a nice limey green colour card to use. My base cards are going to be, oh, excuse me, are going to be um, the craft colour. Now these are the sheets I've just found in my stash. I found some grey. Uh, this is from the Two Souls collection. Some script, some splodgy paper, and I also wanted just a sort of a, um, a creamy white um, check that would go. So there's all my papers. Now, because there isn't a lot of colour with this, I am going to do some colouring in with some paints, or if you have the magical um, sprinkles are really good, or you can even use uh, water crayons. These are crayons that are uh, water soluble, which actually really work when you add water with them. So they're just some of the things I'm going to be using to make this layout. Now I will do the cutting as I go because um, you'll be using bits and bobs of all of these papers so I'll do it card by card. Now on this particular piece of paper I'm going to add some colour to this to make some colour in this outfit and as you will see here I have just got my colours here with some yellow just pop them down here favourite out of all of those is your just your ordinary watercolours. I just use, if it's dried, you can just use a bit of spray. And then the cellophane that always comes with your packs is really, really good. Just pick it up on a piece of cellophane. And then you can just Quickly pick up and it does make a glorious pattern. Now I quite like this technique because it doesn't actually really wet your paper um, and your paper stays nice and flat. Um, now I'll just clean that up so we don't have all that mess. Now one of my favourites is the Lindy Stank Gang um, Magicals. You can buy other companies that do a similar product and it is just like a beautiful powder 
and you just need a dedicated brush that you don't get wet and what you do is you pick a little bit of this and just very gently If you're not happy with where it's sitting and then just give it a spray not too much water and there we go the more um, powder you put down the more aggressive the color will be so we we'll just allow that to dry and if you do add more water I will show you in a corner you can actually get it to actually really, really run. But you do actually get the point where your paper actually does warp and bend a bit. So I don't, for me, I don't tend to add too much water. And there we go. It's instant paper. And it has a beautiful iridescent, sheen i don't know whether you can actually see that but it does have a lovely um, sheen to it so once that's dry we can actually use that paper as um, some of our ba my base paper which gives you the bit of the green which goes with all your leaves and everything else now i have changed up a little bit i've decided to use this paper here instead of this grey because the two the tonings just weren't right with all my ephemera and etc so I have decided that this colour here goes much better with what I've actually got including the greeny tones which comes out so the grey from Two Souls went I think this one came from Kayser Craft Factory 42 so I've decided to use this color here now this is our first card I've got a six by four all my photo mats I've cut which is the three by fours now to do here's my little cutting guide your larger card border is three and a quarter by four and a quarter and that just gives you a nice border around to make it pop and as you can tell the green goes really well with the leaves I have cut a two and a half inch strip from some script but don't edge any of these because I'm doing something different this time whereas I normally always ink my edges but this time I'm not. This little strip I've decided goes in the bottom which gives just a nice little border around. I will then put my photo mat up into the top corner once again I always like to leave the same borders now I've left enough so I can tuck things underneath I really like this noted because I can actually do some um, journaling and things on on that I just have to pull that away from our sticky backing which sometimes isn't easy okay. and I'm just going to pop that just underneath of this just perfect I'm going to pop just here and I said it's a good chance to go through all your odd little words that you have that you can use 
just use anything that you've got to your hand and I'll stick my little leaves once again you could either use die cut leaves you could use anything that you've got depending on where what you've got just pop what I will do I think is just bring these off to one side and I'm going to put a bit of dimensional tape or a sticky dot or whatever you have on the back of this And there we nearly have our first card. Now, what I actually did use a Tim Holtz crayon. What I did with this is I actually added some colours in. I've just got my water brush Just added some color. And there you have your. F then I've just added <gasps> some glitter to the leaves. first card finished. Now here's our next card. I've used one of the um, papers that we made. I have cut a three by four mat which I've chopped off half an inch and then I've just boarded it in to craft and I am going to stick that down And this card is the bottom left hand corner, a six by four. So I am going to put this on here. I have chosen a small little, I just found some small striped um, paper. I also think with this particular card, before we stick this down, I found some washi tape. That is once I find the end. some washi tape 
which I'm just going to put across. Now with this small card, I have one of these fantastic little word rollers, but you can use any any little stamps that you have. And I'm going to put at the top like so. I also add just a little bit of green get my brush get some Now the good thing about this uh, Ranger Eye Carvel, it is waterproof, so you can actually get colour on the top of it and it won't run. There we go. Okay, so this is going to go here. I have a sprig of leaves I'm going to bring in, chop the top off. I found a little word thing with our story. And when I do that, I'm going to put that on some tape. And there we have our next card. So I'm just going to layer these down. Another good thing about having a little bit of green on your brush is all of these little white bits which I haven't fussy cut, I can actually just quickly there we go. which just hides that. Okay, our story needs a bit of dimensional tape. And just bring your dimensional tape over a bit so you can actually that over and then just stick this that down and then if you've got any leaves just pop those over and there we have our next card at the bottom and here is our other one that we have just finished just before put your little bit of glitz As I said, then you've got a couple of journaling spots that you can actually do some journaling with. Right, this is our next 6x4 card. I'm using, once again, the um, coloured paper that me made. 
I have from the black print cut a two and three quarters by a five square. From my craft, I have got a four inch by three and three quarter, which will go the three and three quarter will be at the top. I have my photo mat, which is a three by four. I found a little sign that it said it doesn't get better than this, which I've put on my craft. And then I have actually stuck it down and then cut a little bit of the green cardstock around. I found one of the wonderful uh, film um, rounds that they used to have in those toys that we used to have as kids. One little leaf and I also found some great green uh, white words which is which goes with that colouring in that I've had from some other um, paper collection so we're going to get going with this we are going to take this down and once again we're not edging this particular layout because we are doing our paint edges so we'll just lay this but unusually, I would like to put this piece of card down before we put the black. So that goes on. then this make sure most of your numbers are upwards this will go on once again leaving all your little borders running around we then want a nice photo mat put on making sure that we leave this little bit up here. We are going to put our little flowers at the top once we're done. This colour wheel just pop here. We have our amazing, which will go on to dimensional tape, and this will be dimensional tape. We need to stick our little flowers and run them running down. There we go. Our amazing. We need on some dimensional that is so that if we put a photograph in it won't you can actually butt it over the top and then we'll put some dimensional tape on the other thing too is by actual putting extra cardstock on these it makes them very very firm so when you put your double-sided tape underneath they actually will stand a lot better because they've got the extra support so this just goes into the corner making sure that our dimensional tape is not over our photo mat so once again, leave your little tiny border just around the edge and your photograph will fit underneath no problems at all for both of those. Now, once we have done this, I just want to add some green here. 
So once again, get our little brush, get some water up and just give it a quick Once again, you can just colour in those little leaves. Once again, it just gives you that little bit of green around the edge. Don't forget to put your little on your leaves to just follow that through. And there we have our next layered card this is the last of our landscape cards i've just done some script i've got a six inch ruler this is a three by four mat which i've just cut a tiny bit off the top to make it fit and then i'll put a tiny little border of the uh, green basil i've ended up with a tag a word a round sticker and also some of our leaves. What I want to do here is I will just throw some colour down. Get my little paintbrush again. If you haven't got soluble crayons, just use your watercolours. Give it a good old going over, and there we have that done. Now, the ruler I want popped, I'll put the inches up the top. stick him down you then need to stick your photo mat down the reason why I did this this way is because there were so many photographs running landscape way so i just thought this would make a pleasing change now we're going to pop this in here i think we'll put my favorite up here and good days down here we're going to pop our leaves which as you can tell the lovely coloring comes in and put this tiny leaf up the top and then put my favorite up here so we'll put this across here, snip a bit of this off, there we go, now we'll double side good days we will raise okay this is a good one where you can make your own tags and have a supply of your tags which is something I do I have all my odd tags that I've collected. I have my um, plain tags, I have floral tags that I have just made from any of my scrap papers that I have left over. Um, I also make um, plain tags like these which I can use. I have cut multiple of small tags on odd paper and just edged 
um, also any spare tags I have from ephemera I actually put them in here because there are times where you can use and it's amazing how many bits of paper you you can use for this sort of thing and it's a really good idea to have them just around for when you need them so we have just take that down we are going to stick our leaves also by making your own tags and having um, a supply like that it it's, keeps your cost of your scrapbooking down because we all know how expensive papers are these days so just glue your florals down quite often you have like these round circles which sometimes you can't use but in this case just pop that down and don't forget for these word strips you can actually um, make up a whole pile on either word or publisher and do your own word strips and just have them waiting and once again make sure that that's straight and there we have your next card finished so now we will go on to be doing our three by four that run across this way Now these are our three by four um, filler cards. I have got two photo mats, which of course is your three by four. And then I've just chopped off a quarter of an inch off this side and this side, just to give me a border. And the same goes for this one. And there we have our two photo cards. This one here I've just made sure I've got my numbers correct and I've once again I've just done my quarter of an inch border on two sides and pop that down. With this one photo card I've decided to do a small belly band just up so that we can actually slide our photograph in now to do that you need to put a small piece of the tape and wrap it tightly around and then so that your photograph can actually slide in and I also have a nice in the green be yourself I'm not raising this because you need it flat so that it doesn't push down onto your photograph 
pan, you'll just see the bottom of your photograph when you put your photograph in. Which, depending on your photograph, it can look really, really nice. This photograph's a bit large, but it will give you the idea of what you can do. So you would have a bit of your, like that, so that your photograph slides underneath. So it does, makes quite a nice addition. Okay, so with this one, I decided on do what makes you happy, the film round, and also one of my tags. Slant this, this underneath. I really don't like that yellowy tone, so I think that I think is a much better. acceptable way of doing that so we will just stick these down now it's very important to get your tonings correct now with this one I think what we might do is layer this up so I'm going to stick it flat on the bottom and I'm going to put some dimensional tape at the top so that it is slightly raised. Then we can slide our little ticket underneath. Now I may actually just move this towards more the middle so that when we put our small luggage tag In here. And 
and there we have our next tag. This tag here, I've used the grey spot. I have decided, because I've got some green here, to just quickly do a bit of my some yellow now on this one I have just found an old ledger sheet that I had lying around so that is going on So found this nice tag which I thought I'd add the brown to match up with the brown here just down in this corner now with that I want some dimensional tape position and there we go now we have completed first set of cards now I have done a, f a few things differently I have taken off the washi tape and put a ruler in here because the washi tape just didn't go and it actually matches up to the tape that we used here and I've also introduced some cork bits I've found that are die cuts um, that are cork which goes really well so I've just put a couple of pieces of cork in but there we go there is your first side of your layout completed now these are the first of our um, portrait cards I'm using the grey spot the number the script a bit of torn off script photo card and a couple of other bits and bobs so what we first do is we need to put this and what I have done with this I have done a um, three and a quarter three and three quarters across and I've just taken off half an inch either end 
I just tore a small strip of this and I want this to be put once again so you just got your quarter of an inch border and what will happen here is our photo mat will go in the middle of that so once again just do a nice quarter of an inch border again and you should end up with that being in the middle I want the word down here this here I want to just tuck underneath So I found um, a little clip, which I've just which we will just stick on the top. So it looks like a bulldog clip. The imagine word I want down in the bottom. So once again, I sort of just line that up with a, and there is our next card. Now, what I want to do with this is just add a bit of colour Just blend that out. And there we have our next card finished. This is our next card. This is your six by four. And this is a five and three quarter by three and three quarters. So once again, you just have that tiny little border. This one here is a five by three, which we are going to sort of put in the middle of that. into the middle I also have our nice little leaves to go in This is what I class as an eye candy card. 
which will have no photographs or anything like that on there. Okay, this is one of the tags I've just had from my stash that I had some odd ledger paper, which I did, and I did a little tiny stamp on there and just edged it in some distress ink. This one here, I want to put a bit of dimensional tape on there. Once again, just allow the same even border all around. I have a few little gum leaves I'm going to put at the bottom. Then with this, I am going to just add a tiny bit of the green. And just to cover up those little bit of just add some of that and there we have our next portrait card finished with this card, it's quite an easy. I used uh, your 6x4 is with your painted sheet. You then just need to put your photo mat extra. And this one here is a 3 and 3 quarter by 4 and a 4 quarter. And I'm going to edge it just slightly over. And we put our photo mat down, which is three by four. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put a ruler just over, just below. And then just above that, I'll do my discover. So we are going to put... underneath we're going to put our ruler 
across the bottom. Our Discover I have put on to dimensional tape. edges off. Now I've got a leaf here don't attach these leaves. And I'm going to add just a few little extras. And there we go. Now don't forget on all the cards with the leaves to get your little bit of glitz. Just put a very light, quick little and there we go. That is your next card finished. This is our last six by four. I have got my six by four. I have got my five and three quarter by three and three quarter here. Now, something a little bit about this glue. I went to a uh, lesson the other day and one of the ladies used this to stick her cards down and it warped all of her paper. So you are better off either using a tape runner or tape and only using your liquid glues for um, just attaching small things. Otherwise, you will get some paper warping. This one here, I want to bring over the top of this card here, and it's a um, that is a three by four. Making sure your script is the right way. And we put our three by four mat With this one, I am going to cut these down. And then 
stick them onto to border them. Now I've decided that it looked a bit too plain on this card so I've backed it with the last bit of the um, coloured card that we made. So now that will go onto our card at the bottom. So I've decided to get just an ordinary tag from my collection that I've just had lying around. Slant like that. Then the green that is running on this will pick up the green of the writing. And because this hasn't got much green here, I'm just going to quickly run a little bit of green. Just to match that up and there we have our next um, six by four cards so all that is left to do now is your three by four cards now these are your three by four cards I always do two normal photograph cards and what I've used is the spludgy paper a little of the uh, basil and then I've just cut down and what I've done, I've just cut a smidgen off both sides to give me that lovely little border. And I've done exactly the same here, but I've used my craft and I've used my uh, made paper to make those. I used another three by four of the made paper. I am going to lay, I've just found one um, piece of um, odd paper that I've cut off of an Emphoria sheet it happened to be lying around and I just liked the detail on that so I'm going to just stick that down like so it'd be nice for a journaling spot um, I've putting some more tape down Yeah. like so 
I have got the best moments are free, which I'm going to put here. And I think if I can, I might be able to. No, I'm going to tear it. So this will have to go on here. I've got a little leaf. on there. Don't forget your little bit of stickles and then you just need to trim off the excess. And there's one card done. This card here I just used a script. Some of the little bit of the dark lettering. Make sure your lettering is roughly around the right way. Once again I've just given that a 1 8 inch border all the way around. I had a little bit of the um, basil cardstock left. So I'm going to put that on. And I've also got go and just stick some of your basil on. I found another one of these which once again I use my roller my little roller stamp and just put the best on there and I use the um, archival ink which is waterproof so that if I use my crayons and etc it won't smudge. So we will put this down. I'm going to lay this flat because if you write on it, you will need it to be flat. pop this sticker on I'm going to very very quickly just add a little bit of green And there we have our full set of cards. And here is your full set of cards. The only thing that I have done, I have actually put texture around the words just to make them pop. So all I've done is I've just got a texture. just gone around the words to give them a little bit more dimension and there we have our cards complete and here is the other side which of course I've done my around my words so I will just now go and add some photographs to give you an idea what it looks like when it's finished <laughs> 